Theater Museum. Good for you for stepping up for the Theater Museum. Well, it's been a bit of a, a, a tug, is what we call it. Uh, we've had changed owners twice, but it's still being built. That's nice. David Mervish gave us 10,000 square feet at 355. Uh, King Street. And do you look at the example of sort of the London Theatre Museum and follow the tracks of other? Is there a New York Theatre Museum? I've never been in the New York one, but uh, certainly the uh, one in London is fabulous. I think it. But that was a standalone for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's and in now the it's in Victoria and Albert. Yeah. Um, I I think it's just a terrific way to do the history of Canadian theatre. I think Canadian theatre has had a bit of a struggle for all the obvious <laughs> reasons <laughs> we've been through. Really? <laughs> but other than that, um, so it is. It, it's a bit of a tussle to, to get it going, but I'm sure we'll manage it. Because people go to the Toronto Ho the Ho Hockey Hall of Fame to not only look at the greats who were, but also to play, right? As you say, the Theatre Museum, yeah. you, they go to the Hockey Hall of Fame to do that game and do that and interact with that. And it kind of promotes hockey at the same time as it's about you yeah. know, the Hall of Fame and those who were, so to speak. So maybe the Theatre Museum is that. It's also promoting live theatre. Yeah. As well as remembering the past, it's getting the kid interested because they can play with the lighting That's or right. they can do the sound or they can manipulate the performances in whatever way. And it's right down on King Street just yeah. by the, the uh, I guess it's closest to the Princess of Wales, uh, which is not going to be torn down. So, um, you no, know, I, I, it, it's a great space for it. it. It really is and we're thrilled to have it and we'll just have to wait and see how long it is before we get moving. We, we, we're certainly collecting and doing and uh, hoping for the best.